College and Chief Political Correspondent for Politic 365, and Amy Kramer, Chairwoman of the Tea Party Express. Welcome to all of you. Thanks for Good having morning. us. Okay, so it's our inaugural expanded kind of like, oh, I'm excited. <laughs> Amy, I'd like to start with you. You have kids, and I know Pete, you have kids too, but... Yep. I'll just flat out ask you the question, are these kids of Newtown being exploited now? I do think they're being exploited. Um, I, you know, ultimately it's up to the parents whether or not they participate in these things, but I believe they're being exploited possibly for ratings, but also to push this liberal leftist agenda about gun control. I mean, you're not talking, no one's talking about the kids that are dying on the streets of Chicago every day. Um, so I do think there, it's being exploited and I would hope that the parents would would say no. And a lot of our Facebook friends agree with you. In fact, I got this comment from Frank. He said, unfortunately, these kids are being used as pawns to promote the liberal agenda of gun control. So, Pete, Dominic, you have kids. Would you want your kids dragged out to sing at the Super Bowl? And, you know, if yeah. they've experienced a tragedy like that? Yeah, if it, if it helps them, if it helps them cope with it, if that's something that they want to do, I would, I would talk to them about it. But, I mean, I, 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 first of all, I push back with, with Amy's framing that this is a liberal leftist agenda of gun control. We're having a really important and healthy conversation from, from liberals all the way to conservatives, all the way across the spectrum about what we can do to prevent these kinds of massacres. And, of course, she's also just wrong about people not talking about what's happening in Chicago. President Obama specifically mentions, literally, Chicago almost every time he talks about this. The, the the problem isn't mass shootings. The problem is the kind of violence that happens in these high poverty areas and urban uh, in places like, like Chicago. But we're having this conversation as a result of, uh, of Newtown, I think. And that's good and it's healthy and we're getting somewhere. Okay, we really so, are. so I take issue with one part of what Pete said. And Jason, I'll, I'll pose this to you. I, I, I haven't seen President Obama go to Chicago no. and talk about the murders on the streets. No, no. Hedia Pendleton, who was in the inauguration parade, gets shot a week and a half later in Barack Obama's neighborhood. And he's never said that young lady's name at all. I think this is tacky. I think this is gaudy. Okay, what's Call Me Maybe have to do with a bunch of kids getting shot inside their elementary school? Okay, I think it's tacky on the part of the parents. We've seen this before. The Jersey girls went a little too far after 9-11. I know we're not supposed to say that, but there is a point at which you're no longer talking about the issue. You're talking about the people involved. That doesn't help raise any money. It doesn't help raise awareness, and it's not going to move anything through Congress. Well, I think it's tacky. Having this, this conversation that's circular, for example, yesterday, uh, Democrats in Congress called on these movie stars and comedians from Hollywood to come in and talk right. about gun control, but they were talk they were preaching to the choir, Amy. Well, I just, I mean, look, ultimately, like I said, it's the parents' decision, but I think it says something about our society that there's a, a demand for this, that, you know, these kids are at the Super Bowl and then they're at the Grammys and so on and so forth. I mean, everybody grieves differently. Everybody grieves differently, and I'm sure that some people want this all to, you know, fade into the background so that they can grieve because it wasn't that long ago and it's difficult for everyone. I mean, it breaks my heart, you know, and I remember the day it happened. Um, but I just, I think to p continuously push these kids out there, it's wrong. It's wrong. Well, yeah, but, but, but I, I, I disagree with all of you. I mean, we are, I, I think Amy's right about it. It says something about our culture and the demand for it. But were you upset? Did, did, were you bothered by seeing those girls, those kids sing at the Super Bowl? I mean, I was. listen, if they, if yeah, they right. were my kids, if one of my kids were one of those kids killed on that day, I would want America to never forget never forget. That's a phrase we use in reference to the Holocaust, that we use in reference to 9-11. And if I lost my child, I wouldn't want America to forget about it. And I would want America to try to find, our society to try to find solutions to these problems, compromises that maybe in the next shooting, uh, maybe maybe 10 people die, but maybe a, an 11th person lived. Maybe that's your son, but, your daughter, but, because <laughs> of a background check or mag, you know, magazine. But kids, kids singing at the Super Bowl is not going to do that, Pete. I mean, right. it, it, this is something that needs to be changed. I'll be honest with you. It, if a it member makes of you Congress... No, if a member it of makes Congress you feel can good. get shot in the head and we didn't get changes of policy, I really don't think a bunch of kids sing. Look, if they were going to sing Janie's Got a Gun, maybe. But they're not even singing but songs Jason, that have to do with gun violence. That's the you're problem. You're right. But you're right. But you're right that after Gabby Gifford's shooting, where uh, nine others, I believe, died, and after the Virginia Tech shooting, but this is different. And you're right. I don't think that those kids singing at the Super Bowl is going to, to, to change uh, anything. But you what? know what it does? It keeps it in our consciousness. It reminds us of what happened. What we do too easily is we forget about the bad things. Only 1% of America's families are fighting in these wars. And so nobody thinks about the veterans. I do a segment every week on the veterans. Uh, and just to make sure everybody's reminded but, about but, this. But, seen these point, kids but at some point, Pete, you have to stop being emotional about it right. and try to talk about it logically. And, and you got to get the... 
but but we're not. We're talking sure about we it are. in a circular fashion, right, like there's right. one side and the other side, but there's no compromise. Well, Do you see and, any and compromise? The, uh, no, no. And, the th and the thing is, you know what? You know how kids are. They want to be part of what all their friends are in. And maybe the parents don't want them there to be part of this, but then they feel the pressure because all the other kids are going. You don't know what it's doing to the children. I mean, I don't need to see those children on my TV over and over again to be exactly. reminded what it's doing about to this. A child? Exactly. Oh my gosh, okay. what it's doing to the child? What child is going to grow up and say, oh, I was so ashamed that I sang at the Super Bowl? That's a pretty cool thing okay, to be able to say. Gonna to have, we're going to have to, I wish we could continue this because it's great. We're going to have to go on to our next talkback question. Is Marco Rubio's English Spanish response to President Obama's State of the Union enough? to make Hispanic voters fall in love with the Republican Party? Facebook.com slash CarolCNN. Please join the conversation.